So this is going to be a video basically giving my expectations on Naruto spinoff, you know, Naruto Part 3, the mini series that is supposed to come out in April and springtime in 2015. Kind of what I want to see, what I'm expecting from the characters, and overall what I want the story to basically go into, some of the things I want explained. Now for starters, I definitely want some really good development for these characters because upon arrival from what we've seen at the end of Chapter 700 with all these characters and everything, the new generation, they kind of look a lot like and remind us of the part one versions of all of their parents like Shikamaru's kid Shikadai kind of just reminds us exactly of him and you know a lot of these characters are the same way so definitely I would like for in the series them to kind of branch off and be their own people eventually develop I don't know again how much it's going to actually cover because we don't even really know exactly to what extent this you know new series is going to be because it's only going to last for probably a few months if that so we don't have that much time but I definitely want them to branch off and be their own people I want Shikadai to either go a different route, kind of maybe become a dick, you know, just something different, well, I don't really want them to become a dick, but <laughs> just something different to separate them from who their parents are to who they are, because like, for example, Bolt, he kind of reminds us of part one Naruto getting into trouble, but he doesn't have the same problems that Naruto had, you know, he has his mommy, he has his daddy, he has a little sister, he has people, he has friends, he has the village, so it's a little bit different, he kind of has some of the similar problems, I guess, that like maybe a Konohamaru has, so we gotta kind of get what his his take on this world is and where he's going with it. And then likewise with Sarada, Sasuke and Sakura's daughter, I want to understand who this character is. Like, it seems as though she'll have a mixture of the personalities of like Sakura and Sasuke. Like, she'll probably have some of the obsessive nature <laughs> that Sakura had for like example for Sasuke or whatever. But then at the same time, it seems as though she might have some of that Uchiha, you know, badassery inside of her. And to be honest with you, I don't know again if it will happen, but I would really love to see throughout the series possibly her unlock Sharingan because it would be epic as hell first of all seeing the first main Uchiha you know female actually unlock the Sharingan that would be epic as hell but at the same time it would have to be at a cost because remember the way to unlocking the Sharingan is through like losing love or you know something to do with love so it'd have to be something painful maybe and here's a crazy theory out there maybe Boruto would basically say I don't like you. I'm not into you. Get out of here. You're a crusty girl. And that would be enough because, again, she's a mixture now. She's a Haruno and an Uchiha. So maybe something like that would just be enough to send her in a state to unlock Sharingan. Or it could be her father saying, buzz off. I don't give a fuck about you. And she unlocks it that way. But I definitely would like to see the... Uchiha inside of her explored a little bit whether it's just basic shotting on or whatnot I would definitely like to see that and kind of just see her goals in here is her goal simply you know to be more closer to her father to get with Bolt what is her ultimate goal I definitely want and I'm glad Kishimoto actually came out and said more exploration into Orochimaru. I want to find out what made him attack the village, what made him go after Sarutobi and try to kill him, just more of who he truly is, because even in the Moon Eye plan, Kishimoto purposely made sure to not show us what was going down with him, what is his ultimate dream. I mean, we kind of understand that, you know, he wants, you know, all knowledge and everything, but why ultimately did he attack the village? What's up with him? His full past, his full exploration into who he truly is, and what was it that he was really going for when he said, oh, no, I I'm following Sasuke, you know? like uh, I'm just seeing where he goes I mean who the hell knows for all we know in this new part which again it's unlikely because we resolve most of this at the end of you know she put in or whatnot but I would like to see like in case it is happening Orochimaru maybe and the rest of them are forming some sort of coup d'etat maybe Sasuke never really learned his lesson and he's there with Orochimaru, Jugo, Suigetsu and Karin forming some sort of cult and at the same time that would kind of put Sakura and Sarada in like some weird position as well again this is all assuming it happens and I personally wouldn't want at this particular point for Sasuke to go down that route because we've seen it already time and time again but if it did happen that would be something interesting to see Sarada's perspective and how she would react to that Sakura's will Naruto finally do it this time what will happen but overall main point is Orochimaru we need to get clear disclosure into everything about him the remainder definitely one as well something that we really haven't talked about and I don't think I've even mentioned in the video find out what is the plan for Kurama when Naruto ultimately passes are they gonna make somebody else the next Jin Churiki and have them put up with something like that because at the end of the day even if Kurama's been tamed Let's just say he goes to somebody else. You think he's really going to be happy with this other person? To him, it's like, 
when he went from the Sage of Six Paths to whoever else. It's like, I respected that person, but I don't give a fuck about you. And he might even be miserable. He might snap somewhat back into his old self where he's like, fuck you. I don't give a shit. You're not Naruto. So I'm curious what their plans are. Or when Naruto dies, they're just going to immediately let him be free throughout the world. What are they going to do with Kurama when Naruto dies? Assuming we even get any disclosure into Naruto and them. Because for all we know, it could completely black out Naruto and the remainder of them and kind of just focus on the kids. I know in the movie, Kishimoto expressed that he kind of wanted to show Sakura and Sasuke and that they're going to be in there, but in the manga, the part three spinoff or whatever, we don't know what they're going to do as far as the adults go. I guess I would like a little bit more coverage as well into Sakura and Sasuke's relationship. Like, are they just a couple here and there? Was it a one night stand? And Sasuke was like, finally, I busted a nut. Maybe she'll leave me alone. And then Sarada popped out of that or is Sarada not even, you know, actually Sakura's kid? That's Kading because, you know, people say it because of the glasses, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, fun speculation. And just overall, why are they together? I would love to find out. And one of the major things I think we all want to find out, we need to know just exactly how did this happen. It's still boggling my mind till this day ever since I read chapter 700. How did it happen? How did Choji and Karui fuck? Like... <laughs> When did that happen? How? 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 Tell me. Explain. No, but in all seriousness, I just want any loose ends to be tied up. And I just want to have fun with this one. I want to see these characters kind of go their own path and, you know, explore who they truly are and where they want to go. Let me know what you guys think. What are you looking forward to? And what do you want out of part three in 2015? This mini spinoff. You know, not really including the movie because the movie is his own separate thing. The manga seems as though Kishimoto, you know, specifically worked on this by himself. So what do you want out of the spinoff mini series in 2015 spring? But that's all I have for this one. Thank Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well, that'd be awesome. I'm Fanel World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.